following operational video is for the ER series DC powered control manipulator for non-hazardous areas. First perform a unit inspection looking for obvious signs of damage or hydraulic leaks. Begin operation by turning the master disconnect to the on position. Use the rocker switches on top of the DC box to test the unit functions including lift and lower, rotate left and right, and clamp and unclamp. Next, push the unit toward the roll. Open the clamp by simultaneously pressing and holding the red safety button while also pressing the clamp switch into the open position. Raise or lower the clamp until it is centered on the roll. Close the clamp by simultaneously pressing and holding the red safety button while also pressing the clamp switch into the closed position. Lift by pressing the lift button into the up position. Be sure to look for any overhead obstructions that may contact the elevated roll. Rotate the roll by pressing the rotation button toward the desired direction. Lower the roll by pressing the lift button into the down position. These units have the unique ability to pick up a roll from a horizontal and vertical position. When picking up a roll in a horizontal orientation, position the shorter fixed clamping arm on the lower side of the roll. Be sure to lower the clamp enough to get the clamping pad as low as possible on the roll. This will ensure a more secure grip. Be sure the load is within the rated capacity of the equipment. The load capacity can be found on the specification plate. Be sure that no one is standing near the mast or load when being raised, lowered, or rotated. The mast is equipped with a mechanical stop that is engaged when the cylinder is fully elevated. Keep hands or other objects clear of all moving parts such as the cylinder, clamp, and mast during operation. Do not use the unit on inclined floors having a slope of more than 5 degrees. When unit operation is complete, engage the step down floor lock and turn the master disconnect to the off position.